Katie with Dashing Dish and today I'm going to show you guys how to make cheeseburgers in a healthy way. Now I know what you're thinking, how can you make cheeseburgers that are healthy? But actually, really the worst part about a cheeseburger, it's not even so much the cheese or the beef, but it's actually the white bun. So I'm going to show you how you can replace that with a vegetable. And I know, again, you're probably thinking, I could never get my kids to eat a vegetable cheeseburger dish. But I promise you, if you're having a hard time getting them to eat their vegetables, this is a great place to start. So I'm gonna show you how to actually prepare the zucchini, which is gonna become almost like a boat, and that's gonna replace the bun. So here we have a zucchini, and this is a rather large zucchini, which I love, but you can get them just any size. And all you wanna do is you wanna cut it kind of down the middle here, lengthwise. And I love doing this recipe, especially in the summer because I have a zucchini garden that I grow all my zucchini and my squash, and so this is a great way to use those up. And you know, zucchini is a really mild tasting vegetable, so even if you can't get your family, your kids, your husband, I personally have a picky husband, but if you can't get them to eat their vegetables, then zucchini is a great place to start. And so how I'm gonna make the boat here is I'm gonna take one of the halves and I'm just gonna scoop out the center. And you can actually, I mean, you can use the center here for zucchini bread, you can reuse it. If you'd like, you can throw it into a stir fry, but I actually just toss it most of the time. And there you go, you get all the seeds out and then you have almost like a hollow boat. And what I love about this is you can stuff it with so many different things, but cheeseburgers, I mean, who, who doesn't love that? So I'm gonna show you how to make the filling that will go into these boats. Here we have some ground turkey that's cooking up and you just wanna cook it until it's brown. And this is a really simple recipe. I mean, it literally takes a few minutes to do. And if you have kids or someone to help you in the kitchen, you can say, hey, how would you guys like to scoop out the center of the zucchini boats? And that way you can get your kids involved and it makes it more fun. And then to the turkey, I'm gonna add some diced tomatoes. And this is just a can of diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And that just gives it some nice flavor, some seasoning. And another great way to kind of make dishes healthier without adding a lot of fat or calories is just by seasoning. And so I also like to use um, some oregano because you don't have to, but that is a traditional thing that is used in a lot of um, stuffed peppers and stuffed zucchini, and it gives a little bit of flavor. So I'm gonna add that to the ground turkey as well and stir that up. And then it wouldn't be cheeseburgers if we didn't add the cheese. So I'm gonna add a half cup of cheddar, and you can do 2% cheddar, you can do organic cheddar cheese, whatever you like, and stir that in. And this just kind of brings everything together, makes it nice and cheesy and melty. And then the last ingredients that really brings it together and makes it taste truly like a cheeseburger is ketchup and mustard. And I know that sounds a little bit strange, but you could actually do um, tomato paste if you don't wanna do ketchup. But really, I mean, it, it makes it taste just like a cheeseburger. So I think it's needed. So we're gonna add three tablespoons of ketchup. And really, you can't distinctly taste the ketchup or the mustard, but you just think, okay, this tastes just like a cheeseburger. What is it? So it, it's these two little secret ingredients here. And then we have one tablespoon of mustard. So we're gonna stir this all together until it's well combined. And then you just stuff your zucchini boats with this mixture. And I like to just do a measuring cup. You could do like a fourth cup measuring cup to help you bring it into the zucchini boat. Or you could just use a little spoon. And this is another fun step for the kids to do as well. And I actually pre-baked some zucchini boats here. And so all the baking that needs to be done here is 15 minutes, 425 degrees for the zucchini boats ahead of time while you're making your ground beef or, or turkey mixture. And that way you can stuff them right when they come out of the oven. So I'm just gonna use a spoon here and I'll show you kind of how it's done. And you can um, top these with some more cheese if you'd like. You could top them with a little bit of crumbled bacon, whatever you like on your cheeseburgers, mushrooms, anything that you like on a burger. 
So here we have one that's stuffed, and I'll add some cheese. And you would want to go ahead and stuff the rest of them the exact same way. And if you have two of these zucchini boats, it's really a full zucchini that you're getting. So you're getting tons of vegetables in, you're getting your lean protein in, and you're skipping all the unhealthy white carbs that really our bodies don't need. And so when you have two of these, it's about 250 calories and packed with protein. If you like this recipe, you can find it at ctvn.org, and I will see you guys again soon. <laughs>